So we're going to be estimating probability of a continuous random variable using data. So it's a big sentence here, but we're going to break it down. Estimating probability, so we won't be able to find an exact probability. Uh, a continuous random variable, a random variable that can take any value with a bound. We'll talk about that in a second. Using data, using some sort of experiment or some data that we've got from the past. Now let's jump into continuous random variable for a moment. Why am I holding my boot? Uh, because my boot size is a discrete random variable. Either my boot size is 9 or 9.5 or 10 or 10.5. It has exact values that it can take and are discrete values. So that's a discrete variable. What about a continuous random variable? Well, that would be my foot. Continuous random variable, the length of my foot is continuous because it can be any value within a range. It could be 23 centimeters, it could be 23.2 centimeters, 23.25697 centimeters. That is a continuous random variable. Ta da! All right, so let's look at some runners. Uh, I'm a cross country coach and I'm very interested in the probability that a new student to the school is going to be able to run fast. Uh, let's take a look at some data that I've collected. And here we have my data. It's a histogram of 5K run times. Um, now, the students at this school can run 5Ks somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes. Well, there's one student that's going to be very angry that I've said that. Um, the percentage frequency here is the percentage of students that can run that time. Now, it's important to note at this point that this is continuous data. It's like a foot length here. You, Some students run... 20.01 um, minutes for 5Ks. Some students run 20 minutes and 59 seconds. Both of those students would be in here. Uh, and similarly over here, some students run 25.00001 and they're in here. And some students run 25 minutes 59.99999 seconds and they're in, in this bin here. Okay. So um, now we can do some probability or some estimates of probability. And the reason they are estimates of probability is that problem where I'm grouping multiple students inside of that 2021 and that 2022. So um, let's, let's do some of that now. So our first question is here, find the probability a student, a random student, runs between 21 and 24 minutes. So writing that a little more algebraically, we say the probability uh, that 21 is less than or equal to x, uh, which is less than 24. Actually, I shouldn't use the equal to because I said between 21 and 24. That doesn't include 21 and 24. Now, of course, you'll see now that that's pretty, that's just sort of talking semantics because if I'm looking for between 21 and 24, let's see. All right, any student in this box is running somewhere between 20 and 21, so they're not included. But any student between here and here is, so that looks like it's about 6%, uh, so 0 0.06. Now, any student in here is running between 22 and 23, which is still within my boundary, so I'm going to count those ones as well. So that's 0 0.09. And then anyone here is running between 23 and 24 minutes, which is in within, within my bound, and that's point, um, 0.14. Okay, so I'm finding the probability between 21 and 24, which is between here and here, 21 and 24. This one plus this one plus this one equals a number 0 0.29. There is a 29% chance that a randomly selected student can run between 21 and 24 minutes. Um, now that's sort of fairly straightforward now. We can do a couple of extra ones. Uh, the probability that a student runs are greater than, um, that x is greater than 26. Okay, so greater than 26 Here's 26, greater than 26. I just need to add up those numbers. It looks like 0 0.13 um, plus 0 0.10 plus 0 0.7, 0 0.7 plus 0 0.05. 
I add up those numbers and I get uh, 2330, 0.35. There's a 35% chance that a randomly selected student runs faster than 26 minutes. So um, these are estimates of probabilities of a continuous random variable using data. Now, this is the very beginning of a new topic. It gets a little more, it, it changes significantly from this point. But this is our starting 